The skin is the largest organ of the body that acts as a protective shield. Let's understand the anatomy that is detailed structure and physiology meaning functions of the skin with biology at click. It is a waterproof owing to outer dead keratinized layer composed of squamous epithelial cells. The presence of sebaceous gland also helps to prevent water loss. Skin act as insulating shield that protects the body against 1. Extreme temperature owing to immense blood supply, 2. Against harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun owing to presence of melanin pigment and 3. Against harmful chemicals by limiting entry through the outer layers. Let's talk about the skin anatomy. Skin consists of 3 layers. 1. Epidermis 2, dermis and 3. Hypodermis or subcutaneous layer. Epidermis layer is the outermost layer that is waterproof, maintain homeostasis of the body, prevent water loss and act as barrier to prevent entry of the harmful chemicals and infectious agents. An important point to remember is epidermal layer does not have any blood supply. As it has no blood vessels presence. All the nutrients are transferred to it through dermis layer. The epidermis is subdivided into the following layers. 1. Stratum corneum. 2. Granular cell layer. 3. Spinous cell layer. And 4. Basal cell layer. It is the top layer of the epidermis, which consists of thin layers of continually shading, dead keratin cells, which also provide rigidity to the skin. The stratum corneum is also known as the horny layer, because its cells are toffined like an animal's horn. As the outermost cells age and wear down, they are replaced by new layers of strong, long-wearing cells from the bottom basal layer. Next are spinous and granular layer. The cell keeps differentiating and vary in shape and size, which give rise to the spinous layer and granular layer. As these layers are far away from the blood supply, which is found in dermis layer, cells hence begin to shrivel and die. This results in the formation of a protein called keratin. Fourth and bottom layer of the epidermis is basal layer. It is beneath all other layers of the epidermis, where new cells are produced continuously. As a result, cells get an upward thrust by the continuous formation of new cells. They grow actively because of the blood supply below this layer due to the presence of blood vessels. The epidermis has three main types of the cells. 1. Keratinocytes 2, Melanocytes and 3. Langerhans. Keratinocytes are the primary type of cell found in the epidermis. In humans, they constitute 90% of epidermal skin cells. As they rise through the layers of the epidermis, they travel farther from the blood vessels that provide them with vital nutrients, effectively killing them by the time they reach the surface layer. Next cells are melanocytes. These are found in the basal layer of the epidermis. These cells produce a black-colored pigment called melanin, which is responsible for skin pigmentation. Melanin is packaged into small parcels called melanosomes, which are then transferred to keratinocytes. Melanin protects the skin against ultraviolet rays. These are the immune cells found in the epidermis. These are responsible for helping the body identify allergens. A special type of cell found right below the epidermis, top layer of skin. These cells are very close to the nerve endings that receive the sensation of touch and may be involved in touch, however exact function is not known. Beneath the epidermis is the dermis layer. It is the fibrous connective tissue of skin. It contains blood vessels, lymph vessels, hair follicles, sweat glands, sebaceous glands and nerve endings. Dermis is comprised of collagen and elastin fiber. Collagen fibers are predominant in the dermis layer. They have enormous tensile strength that provides skin with strength and thickness. Collagen bundles are small in the upper dermis and thick in the deeper part of the dermis. Elastin fiber provides elasticity to the skin. Collagen and elastin fiber are bound together by mucopolysaccharide gel, in which nutrients and waste can diffuse into and from other tissue components. Last or innermost layer of the skin is this subcutaneous layer. It is composed of fat cells known as adipocytes, nerves and blood vessels. Let's move on to the physiology or functions of the skin. First function is protection. Skin protects the body from injury, heat, radiation, chemicals and microorganisms. Melanin, produced by melanocytes present in the basal layer of the epidermis protects the body from ultraviolet radiation. The skin also serve as a temperature regulator, enabling the body to adapt to different temperatures by regulating moisture loss. An active form of vitamin D is synthesized in the skin in the presence of sunlight. Through the secretion of sweat and sebum, the skin performs excretory function, eliminating a number of harmful substances resulting from metabolic activities of the intestine and liver. The skin plays immunological role too as the Langerhans cells pick antigens from the skin and carry them to the lymph nodes. 
Last but not the least, the skin has an intricate network of fine nerve terminals. These nerve endings carry the sensation of touch, pain, temperature, wetness and itchiness. Skin is composed of three layers. Outer epidermis, middle dermis and inner hypodermis. Epidermis is subdivided into stratum corneum, spinous, granular and basal layers. Dermis has two important fibers collagen and elastin. Hypodermis is composed of fat cells. I hope this video was helpful, please do like and subscribe my channel for more biology learning. Please comment down if you need any help with the textbook questions. Keep learning with biology at click. Take care.